Hello, I'm Tim Perfit from Two Canoes, and I had an idea for an app, and I wanted to see what people think about it before I get too far into it, see if it might be useful. Um, this, uh, when you have an M1 Mac, an M2 Mac, an Apple Silicon Mac, and you want to put it into DFU mode to use um, uh, Apple Configurator to be able to quickly put down uh, uh, a, um, a clean version of the OS, you have to put it in DFU mode, and that involves a kind of a uh, contorted keystrokes and not always successful the first time you try it and it's not really great if you have to do a whole bunch of them. So using the protocols in uh, USB PD you can actually send a command to the USB port, actually a specific USB port on the M1, M2 Max, Apple Silicon Max and put it in a DFU mode. So I wrote a little, wrote a little app that does this. I'm running on Ventura um, it doesn't have SIP disabled. It has, uh, it, it's just a very simple app right here. It's called DFU Blaster um, that allows a single button that allows you to put it in DFU mode and one that allows you to reboot that does it over USB PD as well, which means that it doesn't require the OS to be running, which is kind of neat. So my setup here is that I have this M1 Mac sitting on top of my, M, my M2 MacBook Pro. I have a, a USB-C port. Um, or USB-C cable plugged into the back one, which is the the um, the, the USB PD, or I guess it would be the firmware DFU port. And then on the other Mac, the Target Mac, I will put it into the back port as well. So now if I want to put it into DFU mode, so I have Apple configure it here, I just click the button. And you can see it went away, and now it's in DFU mode. And I can go ahead and right-click on it and apply a... Um, uh, I can apply a uh, IP, IPSW um, uh, image to it. I can also unplug it and plug it into another port and then plug another one into that back port and put it in DFU mode. Or I can use a switch, a USB switch or a USB hub to be able to plug it in and do mass amount of, mass amount of uh, Macs. So then if I click on reboot, you can see it rebooted the Mac and you should see it comes up. And there it goes, it's rebooting. Um, if I want to put it back into DFU mode, I just click on it. You can see it's almost instantaneous. So that's pretty awesome. And when you unplug it uh, here, it goes away. Then I plug it back in. It is still in DFU mode. So you take it and move it over to another station and just have this one Mac to be able to put it in DFU mode. I don't want to go ahead and erase it yet, so I will just click reboot. This doesn't just only work for USB-C, Mac, M1, and M2 Macs. It also works for uh, iPads. All right, let me set it here because uh, the port's on this side and move the camera over a little bit. I'll plug this in. Okay, it's plugged in. And you can see it should, I don't know if it'll show up or not. Um, and it's not, notice it's not unlocked, but I'll just click put into DFU mode. Bam, it's in DFU mode. Now I can right click on it and I can apply uh, a, or I can restore it from a uh, IPSW here. Or I can use the command line utility to be able to do it. And the reboot of course works as well. So I click reboot and the iPad should reboot, which it does. And I can put it back into DFU mode. And this is exactly the same thing. If I unplug it, it goes away, but it's still in DFU mode. So then I can plug it back in. And you can see it's still in DFU mode. So I'm not sure if folks will find this useful to be able to have an app to be able to do this, um, to put it in DFU mode. And uh, it does require um, administrator uh, access to it, so it can't go to the App Store. But it would be a downloadable app from our site. And I'm just curious if folks um, would, be, would be interested in, in trying out something like this. The other option I, I thought about is uh, the command line, the I, the uh, Apple Configurator also has um, Apple Configurator, and I believe it's yeah, it's under Mac OS. CFG Util, and then you can do uh, what is it to list all the devices that are attached. You can use a command line utility to do it list. So I do list. And you can see it shows the iPad. And if I go back to DFU Blaster and I reboot it, see if it comes up. There it is. And now it should no longer show up in DFU mode. And it doesn't. So that's another idea is we could do, uh, instead of using the GUI, basically have a, 
a script that runs that automatically pushes down a image to either an iPad or an M1 or M2 Mac. So it'll really be just one operation where you plug it in, click a button, and it would just erase the machine without having to do the magic uh, keystrokes. So anyways, let me know what you think, um, and I look forward to hearing from folks.